It looks like we're gonna go to probably Battlefield or somewhere neutral oh, like that. Good fucking coming back, man. Wow, starting off with the Cordo, throwing it just, just to show he could throw it. He didn't even hit him with it. Yo, check this out. Hey, look what I got. I got a ton of these. I just keep my bloomers. <laughs> and his, like, striped And his Samurai Snuggie. <laughs> now available in lime green, like all those lime green Samurais. <laughs> yeah, dude. You got uh, the way of the Samurai. Uh, they really like the sponsored by Sprite. <laughs> yeah. Crisp, refreshing, whatever crap. <laughs> um... Look at Mike, uh, they keep trading places for who's in the center, and they keep giving each other the same amount of damage. It's, it's, whoa. Didn't expect to see that situation happen that early. Okay, I wish, uh, I wish... I wish G-Rabbit was here so we could have, like, a Kirby showdown. Like, we've got we the Kirby bad guys. Yeah, I don't wish more of these characters. I, uh, you don't like floaty Kirby characters? I mean, if it wasn't for Howl Labs, we wouldn't have Smash Bros. That's okay. I don't need it. I'll find another hobby to waste 10 years on or whatever. Ooh, Up Tilt's doing, uh, doing justice. Even on uh, the battlefield, they've reached through the platform. No problem. <laughs> now, how does Meta Knight keep DDD off stage? Uh, I don't know, because he's got that range, even in the air. Yeah, and you go out there, and if he sees you coming, he's going to forward air. But his forward, but Meta Knight's forward air does have that, he's got like that multiple hit. That might work. But it doesn't not have much knockback, and a character like this has, uh, he's real heavy, he doesn't go that far from a forward air. I think what he does against everyone else is he likes to do a nair out there, but yeah. this character will still live. It's not a character you give too easily. So maybe it's wait, space to recovery, down smash. Just instead, just wow. don't even go off. Wow. Well, three stocks, man. You know what? That was the story of uh, Cliff Kirby letting himself get put into some bad situations, bad positions. And uh, in the beginning, I was praising both of them for taking turns, taking center stage. And, and then, then I think um, just one away. of them heard that, and the other one said, Kenny's stupid. Uh, that lumpy guy doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm just going to play by the ledge. Oh, piece of shit. I don't He wasn't even a part of that, that video. He so, just uploaded it. He didn't do shit. We got a nice solid three stock, and I think his only death might have been a swallow side while I was looking at the chat. Look at the chat. Yeah, I do other things. I got a lot going on. Uh, but here we are, game two, nice neutral stage. Switch to Falcon. Um, I wonder if that's stage or if he just feels like he didn't want to, you know. He's up, just try it out. And maybe he uh, he saw something in the matchup, winner's finals, in the same matchup. But I also think Eclipse Kirby has way more Count kind of Falcon practice than his DVD practice, so this should be a little bit more interesting, I feel. Oh, yeah, possibly. Um, I've heard him say before that uh, one thing that bothers him is Meta Knight. Well, yeah, he said that on that album, but I'm saying one thing he says about Smash is when he than him when he's Meta Knight. Um, that's when he feels like it's a struggle. Regardless of character weight and all that stuff, it's just the fact that Falcon is fast means he's always a threat. He can outrun you. He can, If you're trying to dash dance him, he can dash past where you're trying to dash dance and grab you anyway. On the farther side of your Yeah, he can just... And he's so fast enough that he's got a short hop aerial that goes multiple character lanes. No one else really has one that's that far and that fast. Um, I like the way Birdman is using the platforms with Falcon because his grab range is not super awesome and what he's doing is using the platforms to try to land an aerial on a chasing Meta Knight. And then I chasing you, you wave him off backwards and back air, things like that. Even uh, even Birdman is giving him kudos. <laughs> Looks like um, that matchup knowledge is uh, helping though. Like you said, he might not have as much DDD matchup knowledge. Uh, oh, the <laughs> boost! You should know that. <laughs> All right, no amount of uh, Falcon experience. 
Oh, um, oh, has gets a charge on that down smash. Is he gonna grab ledge? Yep. And now this match is still very doable for Birdman. Um, ooh, laid up there, but he goes for the down tilt after, and at this percent, you can just crouch cancel that, as Meta Knight will do at low percents. And not because it's necessarily an awesome crouch cancel. Oh wow. That's not the combo we wanted to see when uh, Birdman makes his comeback. Yeah. Yeah, he was definitely in it before, like, convincingly in it now. I don't know about that tornado. I don't see him do that too much. Yeah. Spacing forward airs and down tilts now. Uh, Meta Knight trying to put pressure on without getting grabbed or stomped too easily. I'm liking these up air juggles. Oh, jeez Louise. Oh my god, like, I don't know how many up airs and uh, down B, grab ledge. Okay, that was gonna be able to take him too. Yeah, that was smooth, man. Crazy good Playing real song. confident. And you know what that might have just done is given him uh, the momentum to make up for that that one match deficit he had. And now they're both one one. The winners uh, or the first set of grand finals, I should say. <laughs> Oh, taking uh, taking it, taking advice from uh, Kevin Falcon. <laughs> yeah, Kevin Falcon. Uh, actually, gotcha. I'm gonna do with Steve. Take that to heart. The worst thing you All the worst things that you go Who better to band against Kevin Falcon than Kevin Falcon? Trey wins it over. Is it a calculator or a TA-89? No, my phone just turns off in my pocket. Anyway. Ooh, left, left FOD open and decided to... I think he expected a DDD comeback. And so he said, alright, I'll go FOD, make him feel at home, right? One of those uh, Kirby character stages. And then fire crotch. And then fire crotch, yes. Time to get that... Fire crotch? Fire crotch. No, because... If every time I pause, you suggest fire crotch, I might, I might throw up. Wow. Okay. Uh, one thing about this range deficit that uh, Roy has is that he's faster and more mobile or mobile, depending on if you think you're fucking better than me. And so um, he can make you make better use of his range, and he can kind of juggle him with the up tilt and up air stuff. But right now, oh, perfect. Really left a little window open, and uh, that's oh all the flip scrubbing needed. It's like crazy down there right there. Wow. The nooch. The thing is, he's got to kill him. This percent's nice, and his little numbers down there being red instead of white, that's cool, but he's got to take that stuff. I, I think in the air, um, I think Roy outranges DDD in the air. Maybe. They well, if you look at DDD's forward air, it'll be a ton of stuff that Roy has, but it takes a second. That's the one thing is all his moves kind of take a second. Um, when you know you have a, like someone who's really confident with that character and they're comfortable, they don't make him look slow. But you gotta remember, a lot of his moves have wind up. It's like telegraphing a punch. You see him pull his shoulder back, getting ready to put everything into it. When Roy's got all these quick little sword dealies, don't say fire truck. Yeah. Oh, that forward tilt though is super smart for zone. Oh, really? It covers like it covers like a third of the stage. Rod dodge there to avoid that hammer swinging past him. Alright. Wow. Great down air. He, he even spikes the character with the best up B for getting spiked. Best weight and up B. Wow. But it means cleans up the bag quick though. Um, this is obviously still doable, but the stock lead. When you play a character like this and he has a one stock lead, you Oh no! Wow. Hey, we're going to set two. We're going to set two. Birdman, you don't want to play by the ledge against uh, DD with a, a stock lead because he's going to try to swallow you. And even if you don't, uh, you're not ready for the swallow. I mean, I'm sorry, you're not seeing the swallow. He's, it's a threat, so you make different decisions. I'm dumb. I should have put winners and losers so we can tell why they were reset. You know what, though? It's all right. We'll know when we upload it. By that guy. Yeah. Uh, you know? It's because you're showing your character on your hat, he knew you right away. Like, oh, Easy I, to counterfeit. He's like, oh, I know what works against that guy. Oh, wow. there's another girl. They're skiing in there. 
we go back to Meta Knight DD. Not that surprising, but um, it's looking like it's going to be a rough battle for the Meta Knight in this matchup. But Trey's pretty good with the comeback. He's, he's, he's got a full because stock. he adapts well. Uh, he's got a, a full set. He's got a full set of practice against Birdman, uh, and I think he's got that to his advantage now. It's still gonna be hard. Don't but, get me wrong. But to be honest, that experimenting they did might hurt him because he's a character. He's a player who benefits from longer sets. And uh, if you think about it, they did three different matchups in game in set one, and so it's not as if they had done this matchup the whole time. He, he may be more ready for this. But. Uh, yeah, he had a full set, but it was all crazy different things. All right, get down switch. And if momentum was a thing earlier when I was talking about it, it's not anymore because both of you guys know whenever the set takes everything. sure why he was doing that, but he's about to eat five up bears for it, man. That'd be good shit. He's so big, that even when he's getting star killed, I can't tell if he's dead. Like, he looks like he's yeah. still there. Now he's just a normal sized penguin. Yeah, oh, he's, his mushroom wore off. <laughs> Trey always willing to shield on top of a platform because he can shield drop with confidence. Ooh. Good, uh, what was it? Multi-dimensional cape? Delusional yeah. cape? Delusional cape. Okay, it's uh, when like um, a doofy character in like a mental asylum puts a cape on and says they're <laughs> a superhero, but they're, they're delusional. It's just delusional cape. We all know. Okay. Cape. I think he's behind a bookcase. Yeah, when you put your your cape on and you get behind the bookshelf. Yeah, and you become Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, and you talk, talk to your daughter, daughter in the through, future. Through a, through a watch and a Spoiler light. alert. Oh. oh. They don't know you have any more movie I'm talking about, so... Oh, Interstellar. Um, <laughs> so what's going to happen is... Uh, we're going to see me try to transition back to the match <laughs> and not succeed that well. It's a hard read. Okay, okay so this... Uh, Man and I... I mean, uh, DD... No! Oh, I don't even understand what... No. Trey's not happy. No. Kirby. Cliff's Kirby not happy. He had 40 something percent. He was in a really good position for this match. This is game one of the last set of the day. Just kidding. Team Grand Finals Max. Stay tuned. Um, okay. Tight. Alright, so we got an even match again. Ribbon control on the center stage, but gets grabbed. Wow, I didn't expect that down smash or up smash to land. Wow, covers so much range on the platform. Alright, gets the down throw, gets one punish off it. Ooh. That would have been cool to see some team combos. He's got to cover high. Wow, those deaths. This is the Baron, doesn't matter. Those deaths were unfulfilling. All right, uh, Kevin Birdman taking game one of set two. There's only one or two more games left in singles bracket, and uh, I gotta say, I, I want to see something amazing. I want to see something that makes me feel like I didn't just come here to get owned and feel bad about myself. I came here to see an event. You understand? Hey man, I want to. I'm, I'm gonna chug this uh, monster and like get really excited about something. Isn't it already in there? Uh, huh? Yeah. I wish we had one of these fancy and the and the black the, the um, tournament power strip. Nice chairs. Comfortable. Uses the down air to get to the platform. Uh, when DDD does a short hop down air on that platform, it, it hits below without him having to drop. And it's not just a swipe like maybe a Martha Roy down air. It's again, it's a Wario on a stick basically, and he just <laughs> spins it down there really fast. I like it when you, uh, when you uh, yeah. like this. Yeah, yeah give himself the old twisty jerk and then uh, and then hit it. Really hard. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, 
so Cam Burnman oh. oh dimensional game into uh, if, it's like I think if he had more percent he would have been more at risk of uh, getting punished there for getting sucked up like that the blow box the suck box on that thing is huge and you don't want a delusional cape your way into a suck box like that yeah keep talking about this these waddle these doing a good job of keeping uh well, never mind. Keeping, I was gonna say keeping center stage, but uh, these two move around so much. Keep talking about that second Oh, nice. We're gonna. This is not genuine. All right, we're going to prison. I don't know whose computer this is, but it is not validated by Microsoft. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. Okay. Oh wow, it gets a second to charge on it. Matter. Trade makes you safe. Oh. Well, um, what I gotta say is when he sucks by the ledge like that, that's like super standard for DDDs uh, to do, but it's not bad. It's not, it's not super standard in a negative, I don't mean that as a negative, that's like, a, there's a reason it's standard. Everyone knows that you're at way less risk. Wow. Oh my god, suction, resets the bracket, 2-0 straight.